remember the texture. De Bruyne appears to have had a revelation. Ah, Bryce, my partner in panel of improvement. I've been researching the subject of texture, and I think I've found the cause of our powdery problem. The answer lies in the yeast. It seems the sugar content of the sweetener weakened its usual effects, preventing the dough from being fully leavened. Which means that if we can create a yeast more properly suited to sweetened dough, then our bread will be as moist as we care to make it. Knowing, however, it's not quite the same as doing, while I understand the basics, formulating yeast from scratch is rather beyond my current abilities. Once more, I must call upon you to rise to the occasion. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> it's really? Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I can see where this is going. Anyways, back to the subject matter. <laughs> stadium delivery commenced. The stadium list for De Bruyne has been updated. To view the new list, speak with De Bruyne. I have already reviewed all the remaining recipes that we will be doing, so I'm going to be keeping a step ahead and going ahead and doing them so I can get through these as quick as possible and to keep my recordings from being way too long. So I already have the new um, item right here. I'm afraid our bread will never be all that it can be if we cannot solve this yeastly dilemma. Seriously? Oh my god, this is going to kill me. I think her puns are going to kill me more than the food would. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. The, um, collectability for this was between 140 to 290. So, as you can see, all of mine are well above that. I need to keep an eye on my scripts because I may have to start spinning here in a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And there we go. Let's see. 4,733,680 experience, 1,986 skill, 990 white scripts. Deliver. 87. Nice. Now, this is some potent looking yeast. Trust me, after the hours I spent staring at such things during my studies, the quality is obvious. Thanks to all your hard work, the third test batch of Penelope turned out just as moist as we'd hoped. And all without compromising the original integrity of its nutritional content. It was well received by the clientele at the last stand, and even our difficult to please regular gave it his seal of approval. I would, however, like to hear the opinion of the, to my knowledge, foremost gourmand in Charlian. Who on earth is that? I speak of Master Dickon. Oh! Yeah, the owner of the last stand. Everything I know about gourmet cooking, I owe to that man. Come, why don't we go and see what he has to say? Master Dickon, what did you think of the third batch? It's a decent loaf, all right. Why does his skin look darker? I don't know. Uh, 
Certainly a far cry from what you started with. That very first sample tasted like a sponge fished out of a sewer ditch. Oh my god. I expect you have your new friend here to thank... Your new friend to thank for this sudden leap in progress? <laughs> Seriously? These answers! Oh my god! <sighs> I swear I've been dead, I guess, the foul tasting evil. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my dear Bryce, you are a gourmet after my own heart, a crusader for culinary quality. Be that as it may, you yet have work to do. You've worked wonders with the taste and the texture, but there's no aroma. It needs a savory scent to draw you in and set your mouth to watering. So it isn't smelly enough. The road to gastronomic excellence is never ending, it seems. But, if that is what it takes to earn your full approval, then we must bake on. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, you remind me of old Merwin. He was the fellow who built this place and dedicated his life to bringing the fine food to Charlian. That life ended before he truly accomplished his goal, and the last stand passed on to me. Even now, gourmet cooking remains something of a foreign concept in this nation. It's the kind of place where puffed-up experts like your professor label their nutritional experts experiments the perfect meal, as if something, as if anything with such a revolting flavor could be deemed perfect. Listen, the last stand was named so for a reason. We're a cultural outpost, the final defense against those who would condemn Charlene's diet to blindness and monotony. If you share Mervyn's dream, and I believe you do, then I implore you to carry on his legacy. After hearing what Master Dickon had to say, I'm more determined than ever to make a truly perfect Penelope. Truly perfected Penelope, pardon me. As before, allow me some time to conjugate on the problem, and then we can see about adding a tantalizing aroma to the next batch of bread. Remember the texture complete. Stadium delivery complete. You have delivered the requested items. Esteem level increase. Dory now considers you an indispensable baker. Lovely.